Hey guys, it's Dave here. So I was having a hard time getting the SUFA into OVGME and thought I would just take a quick second to show you guys how this worked. So first, um, if you have your profile set up, you have a root mods and save game profiles. This is clearly described in the documentation and outside of the scope of this video. So here I'm in my, my mods, which uh, is this folder here. It's on the side of the save games. It's right next to the other save game mods folder, underscore mods. So this is all the mods that OVGME knows to apply and not apply. So we put the SUFA folder here, and this is the SUFA folder that we're looking for. So if I go into this zip file, you don't have to put the zip file in here. I just happen to have it here. And then here, this one down here. So the F16 SUFA folder, just drag that over or copy and paste into the root. And because it's a root, rename it. So I'm gonna do now. Okay, so now now that that's set up, you look inside, and what you should have is core mods, mod scripts, like it's stuff that OVGME is now going to understand how to do. So if I go to here under root mods, because we keep the two separate, root mods, which is going to apply to Eagle Dynamics, DCS World, Open Beta, root folder, it's still stored in the same place as the other mods, but that's it. So now if I look, look around, I should see root... F16i SUFA. Excellent. So we enable that. The mod is 17 gigs, so this may take significant time. All right, there it is. There's my SUFA. Let's uh, go ahead and open up DCS. There's our SUFA, ready to go. Okay, so so Dave, what do I do if I want to do put some other mods in OVGME so they show up where they're supposed to show up? Yeah, it's exactly what I was thinking. So that's the that's the SUFA. So from here, like these I already have or had installed, and I just moved them to this other folder because I want to be able to put them in OVGME. So there's the Bronco, the Bukhara, the a29, you know, etc. So I, I'm going to put the Bronco in here. Okay. Now this is just straight up the Bronco. So what, what we need to do is set up a new folder. And All right. So inside of here, we're going to match our setup that is in these other places. So. See, this has all of these, so we're going to do the mods and then aircraft, right? So, so I have some other mods in the system, and I'm going to do this by hand. So we delete that and start over. So the one I want to do is folder 0A, Bronco. Okay, that looks good. Now, in my DCS Open Beta, Mods, Aircraft, Other Folder, right? That's what we want to do. Goes to mods, goes to folder, mods, aircraft. So, Bronco, I'm going to move that file. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go. Mods. Put 
and throw that Bronco in there. Okay, there it goes. So that's the Bronco, and it's inside of the same folder. And now, if I look here, I should have a zero A Bronco. All right, let's see if this works. Enable. Okay, I can test to see if this works if I go here. And there is my Bronco folder exactly where I laid it out. That's great. If we check out uh, DCS. So let's look and see if our Bronco showed up where it was supposed to. I don't think there's any instant actions on the Bronco. So. OB10A. There it is, Bronco OB10A. Looks just like it's supposed to. That's great. So, um,. Yeah, that's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching, guys. So you can see I've got the saved games with the new Bronco here, and then under Root, we have the Sufa.